This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Samsung Galaxy S4G on T-Mobile. This will be available February 23rd for $149 with contract, and it's the follow-up to the very popular Samsung Vibrant, which was really the original Galaxy S phone. Front looks almost identical right here. So that Super AMOLED 4-inch display, capacitive touch-sensitive buttons, chrome around the edges. We've got the sliding USB door right here. A little stiff because it's brand new. Headphone jack. Still the same 5 megapixel shooter on the back, but you notice the back, it finally, no more piano black gloss plastic, not so slippery. This has a shape to it, it's a little sculpted, a little easier to grip, and it's a matte finish plastic with a kind of faux metal finish. That looks kind of cool, I suppose. Still, I wouldn't say this looks like an expensive phone given this kind of plastic back, but it is at least something you can grip onto. And to take off the back, you just grab it like so and yank. And there's the 16 gig micro SD card that's included in a 1650 milliamp battery. That's an upgrade from the Vibrant right there. On the side here, this is the volume rocker. Simple, clean design. That's where you yank off the cover right there. Your power button still unfortunately on the side opposed to the volume button, so it's easy to accidentally squeeze and pinch both of those at the same time. And on the front, something that's new here is the front-facing VGA conference camera that works with Quick. Same as all the other T-Mobile phones that come with front-facing cameras. So inside you've got the same 1 GHz single core Hummingbird CPU. It's ARM Cortex A8 family with good graphics acceleration. This score is 970 in Quadrant, which is not amazing given that it runs Froyo, which is a fast OS. But it's pretty solid, and decent, and not too laggy. Same TouchWiz interface here with your launcher icons down there. And your customized home icons that go across in pages, like so. Home screen widgets. It doesn't come pre-populated with too many. You can pick and choose. I've put the diary one up here. And there is actually a uh, something that watches your CPU utilization and shows how many apps are running. And then there's some buddy programs, Drive Smart, and stuff like that. This guy is capable of Wi-Fi calling, and it can act as a Wi-Fi hotspot. And to do that, you just go to Settings, Wireless, and Mobile access point and it'll walk you through setting that up. Very easy. You can also USB tether with this. This is 4G HSPA Plus on T-Mobile's network which is a big step up from the original Vibrant which was 3G standard HSDPA 7.2 megabits. This is 21 megabits per second theoretical maximum. And in terms of speeds we get about 5 megs down according to Ookla's speed test on that app which is pretty good. We average around 3, 3.5 three with the Vibrant. You'll notice more of an improvement, of course, when tethering, because your notebook can make greater use of that speed. The camera on the back can shoot 720p videos, a 5 megapixel shooter like the Vibrant, so not a big step up there. Again, the real added feature is this front-facing webcam right here. So the Vibrant was bundled with the Avatar movie on a micro SD card. This one you get Inception. Let's we'll see how that looks on the 800 by 480 Super AMOLED 4-inch display. And this plays through Samsung's Media Hub application, which is on board. You can buy and rent movies and TV shows on Media Hub. And first time loading it, it's also loading all the Media Hub resources, so that's why it took a little bit longer. All right, so here we are playing Inception. You actually have to register and create an account with Media Hub before you can play it because there is DRM on this movie and it actually opens it up in the video player once you've done that. And as you can hear, the speaker is very loud on this. We're not even at maximum volume. So as you expect from a Galaxy S phone, it's very solid video, back, video playback performance. Speaking of movies and the like, we're going to take a look at T-Mobile TV here. There's a 30-day trial version. You can subscribe for $10 a month. And this is Moby TV Reborn, as you might have seen in some of the other phones that we've done. 
really, really nice. You've got on-demand full episodes from TV, and you've got some streaming content, too. And this is over T-Mobile's HSPA Plus network right now. We are not using Wi-Fi. So you can choose from featured things here, channels for streaming. Streaming quality is generally not as great as the episodes. That's not too bad, really. And if you're interested in TV, you go to the On Demand tab right here, and you can check out full episodes, and they have it by category as well, so you can pick what category you're interested in. Just pick sci-fi and fantasy. And we'll go with Caprica, the top choice. Great way to kill time when you're waiting for the train or whatever. Looks nice. Sounds great. Beyond that, T-Mobile has loaded their usual favorite value-added applications, like we've got Kindle over here, GoGo in-flight Wi-Fi, Slacker Radio, and you have the usual suite of Google applications, including Maps and Navigation, Google Talk, Email, and Gmail. We also have Think Free Office on board for viewing Office applications. And, of course, Quick Video Chat. And the Wi-Fi Calling application right here. And a couple of Samsung apps that you'll be familiar with if you've used the Vibrant or one of the other Galaxy S phones, like right to go their diary application. And we've got Telenav. GPS Navigator on here for spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions. That runs about $10 a month. It does an excellent job in case Google doesn't float your boat. So since this is running Froyo, we've got Flash 10.1 pre-installed. We'll take a look at that. And right now we're in our review of the Inspire, so we'll just take a look at the video review for that. When there's flash on the page, you can see it's typical with Android that the scrolling is a bit slower. Now you can turn off automatic loading of flash and just set it to load flash on demand so you don't have to deal with flash ads slowing down your browsing experience. This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the HTC Inspire 4G on AT&T. It will be available February 13th oh, for $99. Job. See if we can get to go full screen. Here we are into full screen mode. Now you get something very high-end here. You have a 4.3-inch... Frame rates aren't too great, display, 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 great on it. I would still prefer the mobile version of YouTube, honestly. Snapdragon CPU. It is a single core. So that was Flash 10.1 running inside the browser. So that's the Samsung Galaxy S4G. It's going to be available on T-Mobile February 23rd for $149. Featuring a redesigned back, a front-facing video camera, and 4G HSPA+. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Visit our website for the full review.